All right, thanks for joining me. In this little video, I want to just take a few minutes to talk about um, the best practices when it comes to holding your needle driver while suturing. Um, these little eye rings here are oftentimes the th place where people are going to put their fingers, right? And might seem like the most logical thing to do with that. And, and in fact, that's probably how it was designed. But when you are suturing, it's actually a fairly inefficient way to use the needle driver because with your fingers in these holes, you have less mobility and with positioning and if you take your fingers out of those holes while you're while you're passing a suture through tissue and then putting them back in to click and unclick or pick up or let go of the needle you are wasting a lot of energy and time and you're creating a lot more movement than you need to so what i would recommend as you are learning to suture is to practice and get to the point where you can do it without ever sticking your fingers in these holes Okay, I want to show you how I do it. And everybody's hands might be a little different. And for a lot of people uh, who are experienced surgeons, they might actually keep their uh, control the whole thing by just palming the needle driver that way. That doesn't actually work super well for me, but even though I never stick my fingers or thumb in these, these eye rings, um, I still have significant control of the needle driver uh, by using my fingers outside of that. Notice how I I will click it together either like this or use my whole palm to click it together, but I can release by simply pushing up with my thenar eminence here and that will release the locking mechanism. And so I, I frequently will just simply use my three fingers on this side to hold the one eye ring to my palm while I'm clicking and releasing with my thenar eminence. Um, I, if I need to open this further to grab onto a needle, I can simply use my thumb to do a lot of the mobility. Okay. Now what this allows me to do is actually bring my finger way down on the needle driver like this so that when I'm passing the needle through tissue, I f have a lot more control over the distal end of the needle driver. All right. Additionally, with the, uh, without my fingers in those holes, I can actually rotate this around a lot easier without moving my whole hand and my whole arm. Notice that if my fingers are through the needle, uh, the eye rings like this, I have to rotate my whole hand around. And in some situations, depending on the patient's body position, I might actually have to be rotating my whole arm and elbow around to, if, if my fingers are through those holes. So it is much more efficient to simply hold it in your palm this way, because you can do a lot of that twisting and moving without actually moving your your hand or your wrist much. And then you can control it farther down on the needle driver uh, uh, in this way. Now, if as you're doing this, you're having a really hard time uh, doing it without your thumb in that hole with the, uh, especially opening and closing and picking up a needle, uh, you can potentially stick your thumb in that hole and that's gonna give you at least a little bit more mobility, but again, you're gonna to have to be sliding that in and out in some situations. So for efficiency's sake, try to get to the point where you can open and close this without using your fingers in those eye rings. Just by way of example, let me show you how this can improve your efficiency uh, when suturing. So if I have my fingers in these eye rings as I click onto the suture, I'm gonna have to take my fingers out of those eye rings in order to turn the suture over, the, the needle over to ensure that I'm truly entering the skin at 90 degrees like this, right? I would really have to contort my arm or hand in a way to uh, if my fingers were still in those eye rings. And so by taking my fingers out of those or keeping them out, I can rotate this needle driver as needed without moving my arm all around. Now notice I'm going to enter the skin at 90. Let me just quickly throw a, a nice little simple interrupted suture here. Now notice once I get to this point, if I am used to simply putting my fingers in those holes, I really, if I can't open this without my fingers in those holes, I'm gonna to have to do a decent amount of movement and notice it's moving that, that suture around in the patient's skin, the needle around in the skin, in order to get my fingers into those holes to unclick. But if I'm used to simply managing this without my fingers in those eye rings, in this, once I get to this point, I can simply click it open and let go, right? And so notice how that just drastically improved my efficiency here. And then using that hypo, that, excuse me, that thenar eminence to open and close this or using my thumb to open and close it, I can simply just grab a hold of that needle and move this around in a way that uh, allows me to keep my fingers outside of that eye ring 
um, and be ready for the next suture. And so it really drastically improves your efficiency by keeping your fingers out of those eye rings. So practice as much as you can to open and close and maneuver this around and pick things up without putting your fingers into the eye rings. Hopefully that's helpful. If you like this video, please hit like, subscribe, follow along for additional videos. Thank you.